Good afternoon. Welcome to another video review from us, Exotic PC. And today we are reviewing the new Tai Chi 21 from Asus. And we're pretty excited to bring this review today because not only is this a Zen book or Ultra book from Asus, but it also acts as a tablet with a dual screen. And we will get into these screens pretty heavily through this review. The first thing that we'll do for you is we'll break down the specs here. Now this is the Tai Chi 21 DH51. And as you can see on your screen, there also is a DH71, which is the, I guess, superior model to the one that we're reviewing today. Uh, I just wanted to show you the, those specs on there so you can sort of compare those side by side. Uh, for screens, as we just mentioned, dual screens. They both are full HD IPS screens. The laptop side is going to be a matte finish screen. Uh, there is some slight reflection there, but again, we'll get into the screens a little bit more in detail here in just a minute. Uh, the touch screen side, the tablet side, that's going to be glossy. As you can see, uh, it is very reflective. For processor, uh, this DH51 has the third generation i5-3317U, and that is on the uh, QS77 chipset. For graphics cards, uh, this just has integrated Intel 4000 graphics. Uh, due to its size and its probably its early release, we're not seeing uh, you know an NVIDIA GT650 in there or anything like that. Uh, that would be ecstatic to see, in my opinion, if they put an NVIDIA card in here. Uh, but, you know, this isn't uh, a gaming laptop, and typically on our reviews we do uh, gaming laptop reviews, but this is a, a very new and exciting product that we're really seeing no other company do on the market, so we wanted to, you know, break it down for you today. Uh, getting back to the specs, uh, RAM, there is 4 gigabytes, uh, 1333 megahertz onboard memory. For hard drives, this DH51 just has the 128 gigabyte solid state drive, and then you can see that DH71 has double the SSD in there. Uh, obviously, due to its size, there's no optical bay in here. Uh, there is integrated Wi-Fi with Bluetooth 4.0, and the warranty on this is just a one-year warranty from Asus. And you know, with any of our laptops, if you have questions on any of the warranties, definitely feel free to to hit us up. So uh, that's the breakdown of the specs and we will uh, continue on with the review. Okay, the next thing we'll cover with you today is going to be the screens. Uh, as again we mentioned, this is a dual screen laptop, uh, the first one of its kind on the market. That's why we're doing this review with you. Uh, as we mentioned in the beginning when we ran down the specs, 11.6 uh, inch uh, full HD IPS screens. The laptop side is going to be a matte finish, whereas the tablet side it's going to be a glossy finish, and it actually is pretty glossy. Um, I'm sure you can pick up a lot of our background environment that we have behind us here on that. Uh, what ASUS has done, and we can actually show you this on the keyboard some more, uh, there's a little blue button here. That's going to get you into the interface, uh, the ASUS Tai Chi interface, where you can actually switch between the different modes that ASUS has designed between the tablet and the laptop. Uh, right now we're in notebook mode. Hopefully you can see that up there. We can switch to tablet mode, click on that, and as you can see it is extremely reflective. Uh, tablet mode, hopefully you can see that there. If I want, I can stand this up. Uh, it's a 10 point touch, and actually the touch response on this um, is really nice in my opinion. Um, I think ASUS has figured out some of the kinks with touch screens and uh, Windows 8. And in my opinion, when it comes to Windows 8, Windows 8 was really designed for touch screens. So using Windows 8 on a non-touch screen to me is a little frustrating at times, but that's just my personal opinion. Flipping this back open, uh, we'll open this up again, that Tai Chi interface. There are two more modes that we'll uh, break down with you here. Uh, mirror mode is the third option on here. And mirror mode basically means that the uh, laptop side and the tablet side are going to be the same thing. Now I think that's a really key feature. Uh, for example, if you're in a business meeting or something like that and you have somebody sitting across from you and you want to discuss uh, company ideas, some new logo identity development that you're working on, it's nice that you can actually show somebody opposite of you with actually having to not pick up the whole computer, turn the screen around, uh, different things like that. Uh, so that's really nice in my opinion. Lastly, the last mode here is going to be um, independent. The tablet side and then this side are going to be completely independent screens. 
uh, working opposite of each other. So uh, that's just a little breakdown of the screens. Uh, very nice in my opinion. A lot of times what you're seeing on 11.6 inch laptops is just HD screens, but Asus has gone with two uh, full HD IPS screens, which is, you know, awesome in my opinion. Okay, running down the ports with you here, uh, there's no ports on the back uh, because when the laptop is completely open, that is covered. And there's no ports on the front. There's just ports on the left and right. Uh, starting on the left side, you do have a headphone microphone combo, USB 3.0. This is going to be a mini VGA port. You do have a volume up and down on the side here, which I think is good. And then you have a screen lock feature. Uh, running over to the right side, um, AC adapter. This is your power input. Another USB 3.0 port. And I think it's nice that they actually put the two USB 3.0 ports on opposite sides. Then you do have a micro HDMI. And then this is going to be your power. Now I'm glad they actually put the power on the side uh, because when you're in tablet mode, if they had the power button uh, next to the keyboard, you'd actually have to open up the laptop to turn it on where I like that they actually have the uh, power button on the side. So that's just a quick run out of the ports. Nothing too crazy, but again, uh, laptops on this size, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot, but at least in my opinion, they give you uh, two USB 3.0 ports. Okay, breaking down the exterior finish here with you, uh, this is does have sort of a brushed aluminum exterior finish. Hopefully you can see some of it there. It is a unibody aluminum finish. Uh, some things to point out uh, that ASUS has done on this Taichi 21. There's a rubber lip that actually surrounds the edge of the laptop screen here. So when you close it, um, it's well protected. And then also when you excuse me, completely open up the laptop, you'll see that uh, the screen actually kicks under a little bit down here. And actually if we hopefully can show you here, there's actually two little feet uh, that Asus has put on there. They're just like a hard plastic, but it helps protect uh, you know, the frame of the laptop when you're uh, using it in laptop mode in it and it kicks out like that. Going over uh, size and weight with you, we want to show you some comparisons on your screen here of some very popular uh, ultra books that are on the market right now. Uh, the first obviously being the MacBook Air 11. That's the 11 inch uh, you know, Ultrabook MacBook Air. And then also the Lenovo Yoga uh, that was recently released. Just to show you, you know, size and weight comparisons of how this Tai Chi 21 compares to uh, those two other popular ultra books that are on the market right now. Okay, the next thing we're going to go over with you is the keyboard. Now, uh, one thing hopefully you can obviously see is that this is an illuminating backlit keyboard. Uh, I think that's awesome. You're not finding that too, too much on um, a lot of these really thin Ultrabooks. Um, ASUS started introducing it on some of their uh, UX32 uh, Zen books as well. Uh, obviously, no numeric pad over here due to its size. Uh, the keys themselves are really nice. The response is really nice. Uh, the keys are sort of set down uh, in this bay, if you will, so that actually the top of the keys is level with the keyboard, so when you close it, uh, you know, it's completely level. And I think that also helps cut down on, you know, its overall thickness some. Uh, up here at the top, hopefully you can see that blue button. Uh, that was that Tai Chi interface, so when you want to switch between, you know, laptop mode, tablet mode, uh, using the dual screens uh, together or independently, um, you just hit that button and it'll open up the Tai Chi interface. Uh, the touchpad, the touchpad on this is really large actually considering the size of the notebook. Uh, it's a 4.8 inch diagonal uh, touchpad. The clickers are incorporated into the touchpad. They're not independently separated from the touchpad. Uh, it's really nice, really responsive, very smooth finish. Uh, I don't get any resistance on my fingers or anything like that while using it. So uh, overall, it's a great uh, keyboard and touchpad considering its size. Uh, one quality that I really like is that it's, it's backlit so you can see it in the dark. So uh, yeah, that's the, the rundown of the keyboard and the touchpad. Okay, a couple of quick uh, last things we wanted to cover here for you. Uh, there is dual webcams on here. Uh, there's a webcam on the laptop side. That's going to be a 0.9 megapixel webcam. And then on the tablet side, uh, this is a 5.0 megapixel camera. Uh, it's nice having the dual cameras there. Um, 
you know, I don't know why they wouldn't have them, but I think it's great that they have them. Uh, this also does have WIDI, uh, W-I-D-I, that's that wireless display that ASUS has introduced on a lot of its systems. So if you want to run uh, the laptop to your home TV or something like that, you can do that without, you know, obviously having to, you know, plug an HDMI cable into the back of your TV or anything like that. So a uh, couple quick last uh, things to touch on. Okay, also, uh, sorry we keep covering these little tidbits here. Uh, this does have instant on on it. Uh, so if I simply just flip the power switch on the right side, you can see how fast it actually turns on. Uh, it's only going to take a couple of seconds to boot up. Uh, you know, there we go. Now we're in Windows 8. That was uh, maybe two seconds to boot up. Uh, very, very nice having that instant on, especially in an Ultrabook. Uh, you know, if you're traveling through the airport and you're shutting down, then you get on the plane, you can just hit that on and you're good to go. Uh, for sound, the sound on this is actually decent. Uh, the audio on this is by uh, Bang & Olufsen Ice Power Speakers. And we'll actually, we'll just close this here for you. <clears throat> the speakers are actually located on the uh, left and right sides. On the underbody, there's a speaker there. That's going to be the left side. And then there's another speaker. Uh, you know, located right there on the right side. So, uh, speakers, there are actually is speakers on this Ultrabooks. Okay, the last thing, or I guess one of the last things we'll do for you here, is show you some uh, thermal temps, some infrared images uh, coming up on your screen. Now, overall, the laptop runs extremely cool, and part of that is attributed to the fact that its graphics card is only integrated graphics. If it had a, you know, a higher power graphics card, like a GT even 635, you probably have to put some, you know, larger internal fans in there just to keep the thing cool. Uh, keyboard area, you're seeing temps uh, hovering right below 80 degrees. Uh, that's extremely cool to the touch, you know, because body temperature is on average 98.6 degrees. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, and you can see it below these images on your screen, uh, is that our room temperature is hovering right around uh, 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So our room temperature is maybe a little bit cooler than average, but we just wanted to display that there so you could see, you know, what environment we're taking these photos in. Now, lastly, uh, the bottom side of the laptop is also very cool. Uh, there is three vent areas, and we'll actually show you a little picture-in-picture -picture here so you can see uh, those vents and where they're located on the other side of the laptop. Uh, again, overall, extremely cool uh, to the touch. Okay, the very last thing that we're going to go over with you is just what comes in the box. Uh, you do get an extra cable tie, you get all your standard manuals, uh, you do get two. This is going to be that mini uh, VGA adapter, this is that 15 pin, which comes standard on most notebooks, but because of this size, they give you this little adapter. Uh, you do get a USB to LAN Ethernet port. I'm not sure that we covered this when we went over the ports, but there is no built-in LAN uh, jack, so they give you this as well. And it comes in a nice little, little case for you to carry around. There is a pin for the tablet side of the notebook. They also give you a battery with that. A uh, sleeve, a nice uh, branded sleeve. And this actually is pretty uh, thick and durable. Uh, so this is also nice to carry around your Tai Chi. And then lastly, the power adapter. Uh, 45 watt power adapter. And it does have the, uh, the recessed uh, jack there, which is nice also. So uh, that's a little bit of what comes in the box um, of this Tai Chi 21. And that's going to do it today for our video review of ASUS's new Tai Chi 21. Again, this is the DH51. This is going to be the lower end model. Uh, you know, like we showed you at the beginning, there is the DH71. Uh, it's a great laptop in my opinion. I don't have any gripes whatsoever. Uh, I think the price point is just right. I think right now it's hovering right around uh, $1,200, $1,300. If you compare that to the MacBook Air 11, which is about $100 to $200 less, uh, you know, again, on the MacBook, you don't get the dual screen. So I think the price point on this is perfect. Uh, again, I have no gripes whatsoever about it. In this video review, if we didn't cover anything or you have any questions, feel free to leave those below in the comments box. We usually check those a couple times a day uh, and try to give you some quick feedback. Uh, again, if there's something that we're not 100% sure of, we'll probably refer you to our sales department which is sales at exoticpc.com. Feel free to email them. Uh, go to our website, which is www.exoticpc.com. That's X-O-T-I-C-P-C.com. 
check out the Tai Chi 21. It's phenomenal. It's a great toy, fun to play with. Very universal with those dual screens again. Uh, you know, in my book, it's completely awesome. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, again, any questions, let us know, and we will see you again in the next review.